Uh, we had the fender skirt on last night. Uh, last night, we, or I decided it was up to me because I did it, I guess. But what I did is I took the grinder and, and, and scrubbed all the fiberglass off on the edge until I hit metal. And then I took the exact same thing as I took some sandpaper in the, in the flapper wheel and ground it off until I hit the edge of the fender. I did not go any further than metal because that's the round bar. If you remember, the round bar was welded. There was a washer in between the round bar before we put that on. So that means this still should fit, in which it does. But I just want to show you how we put it on. <laughs> it was funny watching the video and the big chip come out of the back. You know, I didn't get to see that, like how the other side. But anyways, as I, you know, looked, come out and looked at it, it was quite a big chip. But when I came in here and rubbed it off to the round bar on the, on the car, there, there's what I had to replace. I put a little bit of glass on it and just put that little chip in it. Nothing to it. Didn't hurt the primer hardly at all. Didn't touch the primer. That's what I really like about this primer. If I go to fix something, it sticks really nice and the primer is harder than that filler. It's harder than that filler. But as we get going, I want to show you how we put it on. We've already had it on. We know what it looks like. So that's the fender skirt that we made. You know, that's the round bar, some glass on the bottom, some glass on the top. We haven't even put, we put no fill on it. We just sand it off till we hit some metal. And then we're going to fit it back on and we're going to show you how it fits. Um, I'm going to put it on and see if I can hold it on, do it all at the same time. So when I put this in here, you can see I got a one here, a clip here. Uh, this is to put it in place, a little pin, that's to hold, and that's to hold. So that's down around the corner. Uh, we decided to put the flat piece on the inside of the fender, that way there. Um, if you took them off, you could drive it, and you wouldn't have this clip sticking out. So we've sort of, you know, I think we've done it the right way. Um, so what I'm going to do is, when I put this fender screw on, I'm going to find the center up here in the hole. That slides in there like so. I sort of got to take one of these nuts off here. This is not generally something that I would do by myself. Well, I shouldn't say that because I'm doing it by myself right this second. But if you were playing with this car and you would change the wheel, I think you would want two people to take the fender skirts off. I'm thinking. I think it would only be a smart thing. <laughs> And, and it does not surprise me that it fits because um, it fit before, you know, it fit before. Why, why would it not fit now? Um, that's how I look at it, fit before. That was good. I one hand at that, baby. I one hand at that. And then there's one underneath here that makes it fit nice. Get on there now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Now, when I tighten it up or whatever, I can really get it in place. Now, pin, or bolt, pin, bolt, bolt. When you come to the outside, uh, you know, that. Ah, geez, I tore that apart in a hurry. Um, that's what it fits like, and that's what it should fit like because um, we built it that way, and we built it together. Um, we did not hurt anything. We did not disrupt anything. We did take a chip out of the back right there. I just put a little filler in that. Um, there's a little chip there. I put a little filler in that little fiberglass while I was doing that. And that's all I've done and scrubbed it off. And that's how we fit. Fits really nice, you know. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to put a gasket in there. If we're just going to gap it. I think the gasket would look nice. I just think it would clean it up a little, clean it up nice. Uh, it fits good. It'll come on and off easy. Awesome. All I have to do is get to the other side and cut that one off. I'm not feeling that right the second moment, so I've come up with this. This is what I want to do, or this is what I've been interested in the last little bit. Or um, I've been taking and cutting this metal here. Did I say it's Friday? No. It's Friday! 
And we're going to spend in the gray edge. We were going to go do the wood. Uh, it's, it's snowing here. You can tell I got my, my heels on. And uh, that's what we're staying in, I guess. Uh, Jack was over this morning, got us some coffee, rang us some goodies. He's just like Santa Claus he is. Uh, right, but right now, I'm interested in the motor, or not the motor mounts, the body mounts. And what I've been doing is I've cut these off. It's just 45'd it. Use this thing. 45'd it. And I left a little bit there. So what I'm planning on doing now, if you want to come with me, just back up a little bit here and I can show you one real close. This is what I've been thinking in my brain. Cut a bunch of these. These are going to get welded to the chassis. I'll have my hole in there first. I'll do it with the plasma cutter. I'll cut a hole in that. And then I will come in here and tack, tack. Then I will come in here and go put another one, tack, tack. And then I will go right down the whole length of the car. You know, I'm not going to put, I'll put as many as I think I need. I'll go down this side and then I'll go down that side. I will just tack them on. And uh, that will, that will give me all my body mounts before the body comes off. One thing I, I can say about this car, it has not been apart yet. I have not taken it off and on and off and on and off and on and off and on. have not done that with any of the car. It's all built, being built as one, so I never know everything fits. This right here is what I'll use for rubbers for, on the body mounts. This is the rubber I'll use. I get this at Princess Auto. I guess it would be like a Harbor, Harbor Freight, uh, just boat roller. And I'll cut that in a chop saw that chops wood in a chop saw, and I'll cut them to whatever width I want, and I will plunk each one on these mounts. But right now, what I'm doing is I'm cutting the mounts because I want to go underneath there and stick them on. So that's 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 my plan for today, or that's what I want to do right at the present moment. I've got many things, many things that I should do. I should cut that fender skirt off over there. Uh. I should perfect that there. Um, there's lots of things I want to do, but my brain is telling me to do the body mounts. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Also, I have this, <laughs> I put a whole bunch of, of uh, food on my plate this morning. And what I mean by that is work. I pulled these fender, fenders out. Uh, can't remember his name right at the present moment, but he's dropped these fenders off. And I told him I would put that piece in there or make that piece he could put on his fender. And I'm going to do that. I just had to pull it out and, and tell myself I'm going to do that because then I can change that gear and get into that gear and get that done for him. But right at the present moment, I wanted to try the fender skirt on and show you how it fit. I'm very happy with the fit. And the guy was on there saying there's a dent. He's got a dent in his head. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you, you said it first. Uh, two wrongs do not make a right. But anyways, um, I was just joking. Um, I'm going to take this and start cutting some body mounts and start blowing some holes, and I'm going to plunk some on. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I feel like doing. And you can watch if you like. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of gap. I'm going to keep these flush with the chassis, and whatever gap is there, I'm going to cut rubber mounts out of, out of that. Um, that's what I'm doing right at the present moment. And I'm going to continue on for a minute. I just got started, and we were going to do a little video because it's Friday. But here we go. We're just going to cut a couple off. So, I had one for, there's four, I got four, I'm going to make, I'll probably have eight to ten, we'll go one, two, three, four, so we'll have eight on the body, uh, we'll probably have one going on the firewall and one up front, but the ones I want to do right now are just underneath the body, so here I go. I'm just tracing this off of this one. And then I guess I know where to go from there, don't I not? Huh. 
<laughs> this is just square tubing. Very easy to do. Uh, and if you like it, steal it. Take it. I think you know what I mean by that. Use it. If you like it, if you don't like it, it does not matter. It's just this is the fastest way that I think I can make body mounts for the car. And uh, that's generally what I do. It's funny, this, this pipe was all left. Bruce Bennett left all this pipe down by the door yard, and that's what I built on this storage container. I built that big fancy car thing, uh, Art Deco looking place we're doing. Uh, I built it all of this square tubing that he gave us, and, uh, or dropped off, and uh, thank you very much. I put it right to use, I did. I should have went the other way and then had another angle, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. I should have cut that the other way, and then I would have had an angle, right? But I didn't play it smart, if you know, like this, right? If I would have marked it on like this, then I would have had an angle, and I could have got, you know what I'm saying? Could have got two out of her, one because the angle already got the angle. And uh, trying to say, and you can, as you, as as you can see. The faster you do this, the faster it gets done. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? Huh? Faster I do it, faster it gets done. Got the, we've, I don't know if I pulled that out or not. I got anything in my leg. I pulled it out. Um, what? Um, you, we got the clock running. You see, you see me in, in real time. So now I'm going, to, I'm going to make, talk, and fabricate, and you can time me how long it takes to put on eight body mounts, <laughs> right? Um, you have, yeah, eight body mounts. by two now, don't you? Huh? And I'm just trying to make the line straight, you know. As straight as I... Straight as I can. Eight. Ah, 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 eight. Plasma cutter's coming out again. Tomorrow, uh, we'll be making a fender piece for that. I think this is 50s, 50s Ford, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The fiberglass fender is really nice. 
the steel fender that he has is beautiful. It's just a matter of he wants steel instead of fiberglass. I'm starting to not have any, you know, any prejudice against fiberglass. I used to, used to think, like, no, I didn't like fiberglass, but I don't know. Does it really matter as long as you're happy driving the damn thing, you know? That does it really matter? That's what I'm thinking now. So um, I would do a little... Yeah, I like, I'd use fiberglass anywheres. I would, I would. The reason I'm saying I would use fiberglass anywhere is because um, that diversity would give you more, you would be more able to do things that you couldn't do, you know what I'm saying? You're able to do more if you have more ways of doing it. Um, that's what that gives you. More ways of doing it, which I enjoy. The more ways you can do something, the better. Just exactly the same way with cutting tools. The more things you have to cut things, the better. So if you have a, you know, a plasma cutter or if you have the grinder with a zip cut or you have a saw saw or you have a whatever, all them tools will be needed at one point in time on a job because it will be the fastest tool um, at that point. That's why you go for them tools, I guess, um, to limit yourself to one tool to cut everything. Uh, that would be a sh that would be a shame. You wouldn't be as fast as somebody that has more choices. You know what I'm trying to say. Same thing in life. The more choices you have, the happy happier you you will be. Look at that. She's working already. So what I've got is I got to hook that up. I'm going to grab a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm going to blow a few holes in these. And uh, I'm not going to use a drill bit, just going to blow a few holes in them. I've got eight to do. I might as well bring them all up. Well, maybe I need one more. I'm not sure. I think I need, might need one more. Test, test. Three, four, I need one more. Come on, Chad. Well, just get down and do it, I guess. Get down and do it. And these will be, I'll make these as simple as possible. I'm just going to uh, put them on there, put them in place, and then I'm going to tack them. Um, I'm not going to weld them up completely. I'm going to get smart, and I'm going to wait uh, till the chassis or till the body's off. And then I will make all the welds and all the, the things I do the best it can be because I'll be in the best position to do it at that time when the body's off. So all this stuff is for fitment and to make something look nice and be ground nice will be done when the body comes off. That makes great sense to me. And uh, it'll be, be built as one so everything fits. It's not has been taken apart a bunch of times. Um, even the doors, we made the hinges stationary, so the doors just go on one way, and that's it. We're trying to get as smart as, you know, the dealers are today. You know, they either fit or they do not. So here we go. One more. cleaned up they're not anything they're just cut and that's what I'm doing now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plasma cut the holes in the top I'm not going to drill them I'm just going to do them out by hand and you know why because I can 
because I can. There's my hole. You can hold it against me if you don't like it. It doesn't really much matter when the rubber's on top and when it's drilled down through the car, you'll never see it. I'm, I'm happy with it, you know. I, I don't mind freehanding things. We don't want to get the hole too big. We can shove a, a drill bit down through. We're going to have to shove a drill bit up through to match. So that's what we'll do. I'll hold this right in the middle of my square tubing, the hole, and then I can match it up perfect. So I know when we take that body off, it fits. You know, there's no, there's no guessing. I don't want that to do that. Slow down. Hook it on there so it stays there. Right, Teddy? Just like an assembly line, right? Just like an assembly line. I did a lot of plant work in my day. I know what it's, that pretty well taught me. Plant work taught me um, that you have to show up every day. Um, you have to work hard because if you don't, you're not there. Um, if you don't, you know, it taught me the rules of life in um, what, 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 they, what people expect. That's what it taught me. It taught me the rules, what people expect, plant work. And that's one thing I can say about plant work. That's what it taught me. I can tell you a lot of other things too, but it's not necessary. <laughs> Less talk and more work, and I get these done faster, wouldn't it, baby? Huh? See, at the old plant, they just turn the old, the old, uh, the old um, line up a little faster. You work a little faster. So, this is what I have. I have eight, eight pieces of square tubing cut on a 45 with a hole on each. I'm going to throw them all underneath the car. I'm going to pick and choose. Uh, we'll, we'll say um, the cross member, we'll pick and choose the cross members as I go back and I'm just going to plunk a, a tack weld on each side to know where they go when the body comes off and then they can be welded up really nice. They're going to go flush with the top of the frame. Don't care if there's any distance in between the square, square tubing or not because that is the rubber body mount that we're going to use and cut and place it in there. Um, you can get that Princess Auto very cheap, and this is just square tubing. So um, I'm going to take a flapper wheel and clean off each edge so it does maybe stick for me. There's some paint on those. And that square tubing is tubing that was dropped off in the door yard. The door yard means when you open your door and you go outside, you are in your yard. That's called door yard. Just going to. Just going to hold on to them with a pair of grips because um, with a small piece in your hand and a grinder, does not, it does not, um, doesn't go good.
I have epoxy on the frame, I think, or prime or one or the other. I'm hoping that it burns off fairly good so I can tack them on good. Doesn't matter how nice it looks, it just matters if they stay in place. Got some pretty good mail in the mailbox yesterday. Inspiring. I, I'm, I'm, I, you know, some people were saying that I inspired them. That's great. I, I'm happy for that. That's what I would like. I would like for someone to be able to, yeah, come alive because they can. To me, life is all about choices, and the better choices you make is called the better life you'll have. When I build the car this way, I'm doing it. I believe in my own brain that I am building it as fast, the fastest way possible is what I'm doing. I'm, that's how I, what I'm thinking. Everything I do as I'm building this car, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to make, make myself believe that I'm doing it the fastest way possible. So you have to admit, when building it, and you're trying to do it as half, the fastest way possible, if you make the wrong choice, well, then you don't get it done as quick as possible, do you? If you know what I'm trying to say. So as I make choices, I'm making choices all the time. Whether I take the body off, put it back on, do I weld the finish skirts on, do I leave them off? I make choices all the time. And the more that you make and the more you practice it, the better you will get at it. So if you have something you have to make a decision on, try to make the decision off Gut feeling, I guess. Make the decision off the gut feeling. What is the right thing to do? Basically, what I do all the time when I'm building the car. What is the right thing to do to get it done the quickest way possible? To me, the fastest way to build a car is to put something in place and then build to it. And that's what I'm doing with the floor. The cross members are already there and I'm building to it. Um, I'm not um, putting something in there and then I can't see from either side if I take the body off. You know, I want to be able to drill all the holes while the body's on there so it goes off and on. You can see it. Um, yeah. And all decisions do not have to be the best. They just have to make you happy. More freedom for you. So I got eight mounts. I'm going to throw them underneath the car. I'm going to pull this out. I'm just going to go behind you there, sweetheart, for a second. Turn the welder on. Jack, bring me some sharper hacksaw blades this morning. That, that's going to be fun to try. And, and I've already got it figured out in my brain. If it does not work, <laughs> if, it do, if it does not work, the zip cut does. Doesn't it, baby? Zip cut works, don't it? Uh, that's what I did last time. Worked all right in the end over there. Everything that I cut with a zip cut, um, I was just using, like Jolene was saying, uh, you know, 
how would you cut it round with the zip cut? Well, I'm only going in with the end of the zip cut about that much. I'm not jamming it in there to break it. I'm jamming in there to the tip to cut through. And you can do that if you're, if you're being careful. Now I've got a ground on there underneath. Jolene will show you what she wants to show you. She's so good with the camera. Did you, baby? Baby cooked me big breakfast this morning. I took me down and get baked eggs and hash browns down there flipping that frying pan like that. Not two hands, no. One hand now. She's bad. I will just leave that there. I need my glass, my glasses, my helmet. So what I'm going to go underneath there and do, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to take that hole that I've uh, that hole that I've made. I'm going to center that on the on the square tubing that goes across, and I'm just going to level this up with the top of the chassis. The rest will be rubber. The rest will be rubber. What do, you, what do you do with 365 used rubbers? You call it a you tire, and make, make a tire and call it a good year. <laughs> huh? Make it a tire and call it a good year. All right, here we go. One up front I'm going to go with right here, I figure. I know that I'm lined up with the chassis. I'm going to go with the chassis. I'm going to center it right there. Ooh. Get that one tacked on. Center of the square bar, no problem at all. Roll any flush with the frame. Anything that doesn't look good will be straightened out when it's down off the when it's down off. Where the body comes off, sorry, excuse my licorice. I'm just holding it flush with the frame. Whatever's left will be done with rubber. Say that one more time. Ow! I'm getting in the hot tub. I hate to say this on tape, but I plan on, I don't hate to say this on tape, I'm just joking. I plan on filling this chassis out, how it's got pits like that. Um, primer does not take that out. Um, I will fill that, put auto body filler on that, fill that, it will, will glass that, fill that all out so you cannot tell that this chassis has been anything done to it. And then we'll, we'll paint it. Um, that way there will look nice and smooth. I'll come in here and round some corners off. You know, make sure the welds are ground nice. Just clean it up and make it look like something, you know. Clean it up and make it look like something. 
Uh, right now, I've got four more to do. I'm going to put two more in the back on either side, baby. So I'm going to get behind you, I, th I think, and put two on the back here on either side. I might make one more. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Giving that a hug there. So, I'm gonna put one in here. I'm gonna lay on my back to see if it goes, goes over. I need the square tubing good. Oh, we lost our light, that's too bad. I'm not much for crawling around, but what the, what the, thing, what the deal is, um, when I come to build a car, I do not let anything stop me. Like, if, it's, if I'm rolling around the ground, that's, that's what it takes. That's what it takes, you know. That's, that's what I'm willing to do to get the job done. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. That's what I've been told. Actually, I'll just put one on this side and finish it. Put two in the back, one in the end here. Metal's still sharp, all that sort of stuff. Does not much matter to me. Could be a lot worse. There could be nothing to weld to. <laughs> ah, if we're grounding out. We're grounding out. We'll wait. That's fine. I get a little piece of. Atta boy. Atta boy, Chetty. We'll wait till we get on top, then we can we'll grind that, weld that all up, and whatever. Oh, put my feet over there. Sorry, honey. Didn't mean to hit you. Do you want this light? And this will also help your stomach muscles, trying to keep your head up. I know that seems like an easy thing to do, but. Huh? Beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, though, Jolene. Not as beautiful as you, that's for sure. You have to thank me and just thank the good Lord above. Alrighty, there's eight body mounts. Um, that's how we do it. Now what I can do is, what I'm doing under, underneath here right now, I'm happy with all that. Now I can take out all the nuts and bolts of the fender skirt. And 
and it's just a matter of coming in here with the, the zip cut like before or the little saw sorry about that and cutting and cutting that out um, as we can see on the other side um, it it fits where it's supposed to because we built it in the place where it's supposed to be and uh, it, you know what I mean? I just ground off the glass that was in between it. Um, even the chip was a lot smaller. Oh, sorry for that. The chip was a lot, <laughs> walk on the light. The chip was a lot smaller than I thought. And that prime, like I say, that primer is so good that you can, anyways. That's how I put eight body mounts on in that length of time. All the body mounts will be uh, welded after, and then we'll make it look nice from there. That's how I'm going to do that. Uh, the fender skirt I can cut off now. I probably I probably will here in a little bit, but I'm happy with that. What's going on there? I'm going to have to make a few more. Maybe put them in the front. I might put one more in between there. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, yeah. So there's the body mounts. I've got to cut the fender skirt off. Make the fender skirt look good. I'm just trying to figure out my own brain when the body comes off, but it does not matter. We will show you anyways. I'm happy with Friday. I'm happy with Friday. Uh, it would be nice. To, yeah. It is nice. It's snowing out. We can't go anywhere, and it's just great. Um, we'll, we'll show you the wood when we can. Um, that was kind of a thing that we wanted to see. Uh, Doug found our other wheel, so we have another 17-inch wheel. We have four 17-inch wheels. We still owe a hat. Uh, everything's sort of in place. I have not got the dash in place yet, so I'm going to have me. I'm going to have to get with Jeff and get the dummy dash, and get that down here, so I can make and make it go where we need it to go. It would be nice maybe to have the holes drilled it, so I know exactly where I got to go, and the steering bracket. I can make some stuff like that. Uh, the transmission mount will be dealt with when the body's off, because it can't go anywhere, it's because the engine mounts have it in place. The rack is okay. There was someone really concerned, or Joey said there was someone concerned about how the, the, the bar, I don't know what that bar is called, coming off for the steering. The only reason that's out there like that is because I switched it around so I could make a bar so I could steer it outside and roll it around. But in actual fact, that there is supposed to be behind the wheel. So I know that it'll work with the rack that's supposed to be behind the, it's supposed to be behind the front end. You know, so um, no worries there. Uh, everything's pretty well figured out on the fender skirts are going good. Um, I hope that gives somebody a little bit of insight if you're building a fender skirt and you're building something. Um, it's just as easy to tack it to the car and cut it off. It's, it's not the funnest thing to do is to cut it off. I didn't like eating all the dust underneath there the other day, like up in that wheel well. So I'm just kind of, maybe I'll put a mask on to cut this one off. That's what I'll probably do. Um, I, if, you want it to, if you want to see the, the fend, yeah, this fender skirt being cut off, we can show it, but you just tell us this video tonight when you watch it or whenever you watch it, um, you want to see it cut off. You want to see it cut off? That's what we'll do. But from there on in, I'll probably just cut it off and keep cruising. Um, yeah. Everything's pretty well mocked up in my brain on this car. Pretty well. Like... The rear end, I know what I have to do when I get it off. I have to center it in that C channel, um, and it has to go over three quarters of an inch from where I had it welded on. I know where the drive, sh the transmission mount is because it shows me there when I take the body off. I know all the mo the body mounts are there because I put them on before I took the body off. Uh, the steering's going to work because we tried it. The rack is in place. We just need the other mounts. Uh, what really needs to be done is to, instead, you know, to be honest with you, is some just some good couple days worth of labor to get it off, get it on a table or something, and then go at the chassis and, and get that sort of done, get that figured out like somewhat like the body is. Uh, the bo chassis, like I said, I still want to fill that all out with filler to make it smooth. You cannot paint rough surfaces and make them shiny. They, it does not work that way. The, the smoother the surface, the shinier the paint. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pull that off. 
pull that out. We've got a nice wintry day out there. Also, I've got a couple other things I want to do. Um, I don't know if Jolene showed you the other day, but I got the, the 305 stripped down and I tried the faux mobile covers on. They're cool. Um, I'll wait for a little bit. I'm going to get a starter and, and check out the, the compression, or not the, yeah, the compression each cylinder, see if it's okay. Uh, I think I need a frost plug. Um, when this dome comes off and we change the other dome, we'll paint it green. You'd never, yeah, you'd never suspect, or I wouldn't anyways. I'm not that good enough with engines. I can say, well, that's not, that's not it. But let's face it, and to me, um, to me, it's the design of the car of what I'm really all about. Um, the engines, I have no prejudice. They all seem to do fairly well. Um, if you want to go fast, you just spend more money. <laughs> That's basically what I've learned about engines. You want to, you want to go fast, you have to spend money. Um, what I'd rather do is spend my time and my money um, making something. And then I'm proud of myself. Anyways, have a good Friday, everybody. Uh, you got the time clock. You see how long it took to make eight body mounts and, and tack them on, get them in place. Um, it'd be some nice if you went over to your employee and said, will you make some body mounts and put them on that car and come back to you in an hour and say, yeah, I got them done. What else you want done? Can you imagine? Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>